Hi everybody, this is Simon Ward of the triathloncoach.com and your official Outlaw Coach. So it's the final week, not long to go now, and that's why the title of this video is Don't Blow It Now. Take a look at this message over here. There's very little you can do to improve your fitness in the final week, and yet year after year, race after race, I see people making the same mistakes in the final days, trying to squeeze in that one last big bike session, the one last big run, as if it's going to make any difference on race day. And quite frankly, it's not. The only thing it's going to do is reduce your energy, which means you can't use it on the day. So save your energy for race day. What should you be doing in the final week? Well, it's the final week of your taper. So you really should be keeping it really nice and light. With your training, I say, swim more and run less. I don't mean you actually have to increase the volume of swimming above your normal levels. In fact, that would be silly because that would be going against what I've just said there. But for most people in triathlon, swimming is not their natural sport. They don't feel comfortable in the water. And if you take time out of the water, you lose the feel. And that means on race day it'll be harder. So swim a little bit more frequently. You only have to do 20-30 minutes in the pool each day. Some drills and a couple of hard efforts just to keep your blood volume up. I also think you should be running less. Running is the one sport where there's an impact on the bones with every single stride. Therefore, it creates more damage to the joints and muscles, which in turn requires you to recover more. So if you're going to keep running at a high level throughout that final week, that's going to slow down your recovery and perhaps take some energy away. So I would suggest that you try to run a little less in that final week. I would, for all three sports, use what I call faster than race pace efforts. So let's use an arbitrary figure. If you're going to be riding at an average of 20 miles an hour, then I would include in a couple of your rides one or two efforts of two to three minutes each that are at 21 miles an hour. Nothing that's going to promote too much fatigue, but still have you working a little bit harder than on race day. I also think you should keep your sessions short. If you've got any energy left, save it all for race day. My objective when I go out training is to just remind the body what it's supposed to be doing during that week, what we've been training for over all these months, and to finish the session feeling great. So if I'm halfway through a swim or a bike and I feel really good, if it's feasible, obviously if I'm out in the middle of the countryside, I can't just climb off my bike there, but if I'm on my indoor trainer or I'm near to home, I'll cut the session short. Yeah, I don't need to keep feeling good for two hours. I can do that on the, on the Sunday. This is a sample workout here, if you can follow this. This is, this is quite often what I recommend to people, to keep the session short and to, keep, to, to fill in with these um, guidelines I've set up here. So on the Monday, swim for 30 minutes, run easy for 30 minutes, and include some sort of fast bursts, 20, 30 seconds at faster than race pace. On the Tuesday, swim for 30 minutes and, and bike. On Wednesday, just bike and run straight afterwards, only for 20 minutes, maybe a bit less. On the Thursday, swim again for 30 minutes, bike for 30 minutes. Friday, take a rest day. That's the day when you want to allow your carbs to build up, so you'll be eating a little bit more. On the Saturday, day before the race, yes, I do think it's a good idea for you to train. After all these months of training, your body will feel a little sluggish on race day if you haven't done anything the day before. Nothing too fatiguing. There will be an opportunity at home, Pierpont, if you're there, for you to go and get in the water. So I would get your wetsuit on and just go and, if you haven't been in there before, see what the water feels like, the temperature. Look at some of the landmarks for direction finding on race day. Have 20 minutes in there. You could then probably go and ride one lap around home, Pierpont, nice and flat, no cars, no danger. And then just get off and run for 10 minutes. Do all that in the morning, then go back to your hotel, pack your bags, get everything ready for, um, for race day. Some other stuff that I really highly recommend you try to avoid or try to make sure you do in the final week, reduce your stress levels, if at all possible. Stress is nervous energy wasted, so you want to, remember, keep in the energy for race day, reduce the stress. If you can take a week off work, and that week leading up to out, oh, that's brilliant because that will take some of those work-related stresses away. Travel early to Nottingham. I'm constantly amazed by the number of people who arrive at the last minute. They rush into the race briefing. 
they're sort of you know really itchy to get through registration in a hurry because they're late because they've been delayed by traffic or whatever and then they're rushing to get their bike racked and inevitably when you're doing that something gets forgotten so why not arrive on Friday evening why not arrive on Friday lunchtime take the day off work then you've got all day Saturday to reduce the stress to get everything done in your own speed try to stay off your feet try to stay off your feet as much as possible apart from the training over here but if you can if you can sit don't stand if you can lie down don't sit that's the old adage if you can drive by car do so for this very week normally I'd advise that you walk places if it's easy to but this week I'm going to suggest that you try to stay off your feet and again save your energy for race day I also advise and if you've seen the nutrition video then remember to eat clean follow those guidelines and try to stay hydrated and that's all for the moment I will have one final video for you on what to do on race morning and how to make sure you get everything done but until now enjoy the rest of your training and I'll see you again soon